Well, everyone, we have an amazing speaker for you tonight. I promise you an amazing speaker. And I'm so excited for you to hear about Laura, especially this time of year, because Laura McKeever, who is now a national sales director, 30 years ago, she started her business to get her products as Christmas gifts. Hello for this week or this month at a discount. So, you know, there's people out here tonight who could be coming in at a discount and turn into a national sales director. She was 21 years old, a college student, and been working full-time as an office manager in a counseling service and part-time as a waitress. So I think that's kind of like two jobs all at the same time. Laura debuted as a sales director just two years later and went on to earn numerous awards as a director. She has been married to her husband, Ken, for 27 years. They have two amazing sons. Um, she has been had the privilege of driving for free, that's free for Mary Kay, 28 years and is currently driving a beautiful pink Escalade. Um, she is a multi-millionaire in Mary Kay, earning over $3 million to date. And the highest paycheck that she has been given, I always say it's not the one that you have yet because the highest paycheck hasn't been written yet, but the one that she has earned is in excess of $43,000, eight-time gold circle. Please give it up for my good friend, Laura McKeever. So, Laura, take it away, girl. Oh, thank you, Janice. Oh, my goodness. I love your events. They're always so energetic and powerful. And hello to the Janice True National Area, the Mary Kay National Area, and the McKeever National Area, and all of your guests that are on here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, 30 years ago today, November 30th, it was probably a few days before because back then we didn't have the internet. Now I'm dating myself. <laughs> we had the mail in agreements instead of punch them into the computer. But 30 years ago today is when my beauty consultant agreement was processed. Wow. Wow. What if, what if I never said yes to attending my sister's practice launch party, like her first Mary Kay party. What if? I have no idea. Oh my goodness. My life would totally be different. And here I am today as a Mary Kay multi-millionaire. Yes. So you can kind of guess my age now that Jana shared that I started Mary Kay when I was 21. And now 30 years later, I'm celebrating my 30th anniversary, right? The product works, right, Janice? It works. <laughs> All right. Well, this was me. I'm a visual person. This is me. When I started Mary Kay, I was a college student, as she shared earlier, um, and working full time as an office manager in a counseling service and part time waitress for extra cash on hand. You know, what do we do for that extra side hustle to make extra money, right? What are the things that we do? You know, I hear of things that people are doing for extra money that is taking so much time out of our family's life, out of your life. When in today, you can have a Mary Kay business that in just a few hours a week, even virtually, you can make equivalent to what you are taking 10 hours a week at other side hustles, even some other uh, virtual or, you know, uh, side hustles that are internet based like, like ours is as well. So, but I did start when I was 21 to get my products at a discount for me. And as you could tell from my picture, I didn't use a whole lot back then, but we all have skin and we have to wash our face with something. And I was going to a dermatologist uh, back then. And today, dermatologists have to promote a skincare line. It doesn't mean that it's the best on the market. It's because really that's what they get a kickback. And they have to promote a line because skincare today is so advanced. And especially Mary Kay. Yes, Jana shared that. The number one uh, direct selling company in the world. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Um, but back then I went to a dermatologist because I had adult acne and eczema. And uh, he spoke very highly of Mary Kay. If they're honest, they'll speak very highly of Mary Kay. <laughs> as long as it's not in comp competition with what they're getting a kickback on it. And so my si two sisters were in Mary Kay uh, before me. One was a businesswoman. The other one was very outgoing. And I'm one of nine. I have seven sisters to so two of my older ones were in Mary Kay. 
<laughs> I know, crazy. And uh, I have a brother too. There's four older girls, four younger, and my brother in the very middle. And a cousin was in Mary Kay uh, before that. And um, she came and did a party with all the sisters. And that's where I started on the skincare. And two months later, I was invited to my sister's launch party. And I was out of the three who started Mary Kay at that time. I actually was the least likely to succeed. Um, you know, and I, I, I had low self-esteem. Um, I was going to college at the time, but I wasn't really sure if that's what I wanted to do. I thought I wanted to be a teacher. I had just broke off an engagement. Um, I had uh, childhood trauma um, uh, with sexual abuse. And, uh, you know, it was just, it was just a tumultuous time in my life. You know, uh, it, it, it wouldn't have been the right timing, what some people think, but you know what? God's timing is always right. And I believe that every single one of you that are on here tonight are on here because somebody prayed for you um, to have an opportunity. And um, I don't take that lightly because I prayed this morning as well um, before I knew I was going to speak on here that Lord bring the people onto this Zoom that need hope, need dreams, just need a friend, um, need a culture of sisterhood um, to just be able to feel good about themselves. Because you know what? That's what it was for me in disguise of me saying that I was just doing this to get my products at a discount and buying my Christmas gifts at a discount, 50%. I mean, like, goodness. That's a reason in itself why all of us or all of you should say yes, right? And all of us should stay in Mary Kay for life just for that alone, right? But God had bigger plans for me. And I believe he has bigger plans for all of you as well. If you just open yourself up to receive, that's it. You don't have to figure it all out. Mary Kay did that for us. Janice, myself, as your mentors and leaders, we will lead the way. We will show you what we did. We will give you the content. You don't have to figure any of that out. That's what it was for me. When I said yes to Mary Kay, I am so glad that that director didn't bite into what I was telling her because I was just telling her, I said, I'm not recruiting anybody because I had been in a business before Mary Kay that left a bad taste in my mouth and I didn't make any money out of it, out of it. I said, so I don't expect me to recruit anyone. And I said, don't call me. Um, I'm not coming to those events. I really just want to get my products at a discount. And she said, you know what, Laura? She said, that's totally okay. But I ask one thing of you and the company asked one thing of you that if you at least say yes, just allow us to do our job. We would hate for you to say that we never gave you the options or gave it all to you more. And tonight you're getting a lot of it, but there's still beyond on this, there's still more for you. And so at least have that orientation, um, that welcome chat with your sales director who is uh, going to mentor you and Mary Kay. And that's what I did. I went to this party of my sisters. I walked up the driveway, the pink Cadillac, Cadillacs back then were Pepto-Bismol pink. I know Janice, you being in 41 years, <laughs> you know the, that color well, right? And I had just purchased a little sports car convertible. Oh my goodness. I was cute in it, but I had a really, really not so cute car payment and car insurance right uh with for that car and i kind of chuckled at first at this car you know had a snotty attitude about um, mary kay and i was buying my skincare products from the department store um we didn't have the the other stores you know those altas and sephoras of today we didn't have those you had to go to uh department stores to buy higher end products and i was buying those and i thought wow the more i spent on something the better it was i didn't realize how naive was i <laughs> to think that paying a 300 to 500% markup on my skincare meant that it was the best on the market <laughs> or because it came in a really cute bottle. And, and a lot of times they can skimp on what's actually in there because it, it comes packaged really cute, right? That's where my mindset was, you guys. I didn't have the wisdom I do today of realizing that, wow, you know, Mary Kay is the way, you know, there's no middleman for, for skincare, right? And as consultants, imagine getting your products at half price for the rest of your life. How much can you save alone in that? And so I was a Tom girl and an athlete back then, I didn't even know what a pour was. Janice, did you know what a pour was? <laughs> I didn't know what a pour was. So, I mean, when people say, I know nothing about skincare, or I know nothing, I'm like, girl, 
let me just tell you the extended version of my story, right? If I can do it, you can too. But I was greeted at the door by this sales director that was successful already. I knew that she didn't need me. And Mary Kay, the company at that point was successful as well. They were celebrating their 30th anniversary, the year that I joined. We're now 60 years strong as Janice shared. And so, um, you know, this woman was, wow, she was so put together. I could tell she made a big income with Mary Kay. She was doing this full time. Her kids were small, six and two. She had her cake and eat it too. And, you know, she was just genuine, you know, not pushy. I knew she didn't need me because she was already successful. I knew the company didn't need me, but I didn't realize how much I needed Mary Kay. I needed Mary Kay. And I want you to ask yourself, what are you, what do you need more of in your life? What is that? For me, I had no idea that I needed to hang around more positive people. I want to ask you, who are the five key people in your life that pour into you, that pour into you, right? Or that you hang around the most? Wow, my eyes were open to see the circle of influence that I had. And I had some good people in my life, but not as many as I needed at that stage in my life with all that I was going through. And so the first thing she said at that skincare class, one, the question was, where do you see yourself five years from now? And I know I was like, oh, lady, that question. Everybody asked that question. Like, so annoying. Um, I'm just being honest, you guys, with what my thought process was. Can you tell I was negative? I was like, that is so annoying. But she extended it. And she said, if you continue doing what you're doing now, would it change your financial future? But most importantly, would you be happy? Now, I know there are those of you on here that you make a lot of money. And you know what? If you don't think money is important, then look, everything from the moment you wake up, everything has to do with money. Everything. Money's not evil. It's the love of money that's evil, but you can have lots of uh, better choices when you have money, right? And so um, I, you, you can make a lot of money, but are you happy doing it? Are you trading time for money? Are you trading your family for money? Are you trading your values, your morals, what you stand for, for money? Oh my goodness, you, you know, when we work for somebody else as well, we are helping somebody else's legacy, right? We are um, also helping somebody else achieve their dreams and their goals because they can make an unlimited income. You are limited on the income when you work for somebody else, right? You are, are uh, um, you're limited on the flexibility. You're limited on choices when you work for someone else. Um, you know, my sister owned a brick and mortar. The person who recruited me in America owned a brick and mortar company at one point. And I will tell you, brick and mortar is a struggle. The average, a, average lifespan of anyone starting a business is usually three years. There's so many pop-up companies, you know, they thrive, you know, in the first couple of years. If you are part of a ground floor company, oh my goodness, you know, beware, Okay or even a brick and mortar. It's tough out there. You know, she had to close her doors, but when she got started that company, her own home was up for collateral. And not only that, another family's home was up for collateral. For me, you heard Janice for 25 or not 25, 35, $35. You can start a business. That's less than when I started 30 years ago for $95. That's what my starter kit was. Um, $35. You can start a business that you can turn it into uh, over $3 million, like myself, more, as you heard for Janice. Um, it's crazy. So all those things weren't going through my head back then. But knowing what I know now, wow. Wow, I'm so glad that God planted me into that skincare class, just like she that, that he planted you into this Zoom to hear more. Well, the second thing she said is Mary Kay offers you the opportunity to work this business around your life, not your life around this business. Let me say that again, to work this business around your life, not your life around this business. Oh my goodness, to put my priorities in order, my priorities of my faith first, my family second, and my career, Mary Kay, 
third. Or for those of you that are still working a full-time job, maybe working your way out of the full-time job, you're, it has to be, you know, your career, then your, you know, your, 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 well, your faith, however, but it, it's mixed up and you have to add a career in there, right? <laughs> right? Um, I don't have to, we don't have to factor that in. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. Should you say yes with Mary Kay? Well, the last thing was the icing on the cake. And she, you know, went through, and really, you guys, it was so easy what she was doing. She had a flip chart, okay? And she was just, I didn't even realize she was reading from it. It had these pretty pictures on it. And she's, you know, flipping the page. And she's really, all she's telling us, she's squirting things into our, our little tray. And she says, put it on, take it off. And, she, and she's nodding her head while she's doing that. And she goes, how does it feel? Okay, go to the next one, put it on take it off. How's it feel? And she flips the page and says a couple more things. And at the end, I'm like, oh my gosh, I could never do what she does. It looks so difficult. Like, oh my goodness, she knows these words. Like, well, like today, resveratrol. <laughs> like, how do you even say that? I had to practice saying that when that ingredient came on the market. Um, still as a national sales director. But she flipped that. She, yeah, at the end, she shared all the different products and the sets that we could purchase should we want to take home products tonight. And I did. I wanted products because now I understood it. But more importantly, I tried them and I'm like, wow, this is just as good, if not better than that brand X that I've been paying some big person for their legacy to make all this money. It wasn't supporting dreams of, of millions of women around the world. You know, it was just that big mega billionaire or millionaire that was taking all this money or a celebrity that, you know, is promoting this product um, and I'm putting more money into their pocket, right? When I felt a sense of pride to say, wow, I'm going to start buying this product. And when she shared how much it costs, I'm like, wow, that's great. But I, I can't afford right now to get all of what I want. Um, so I'm just going to start here. And she said, or you can start with this. And she shared about how, well, we have the $35 kit now, but we also have the opportunity to have an enhanced kit if we want to. And wow, I thought, oh my goodness, all of those items, I can even pay, either pay full price. And that's what she said. You can continue to buy your products at full price, or you can become a consultant and get it at a 50% discount for life. Ding, 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 ding. You know what? She shared about all the money that you can make in Mary Kay. She shared about the family security program, which there is no other direct selling company that has a family security program. When Janice and I retire, we get 15 years buyback from the company, right? I mean, my income alone, my income when I retire in 14 years, it's going to be more than what I'm making now as reti in retirement. I'm not just going to be able to retire Mm, semi comfortably, hopefully semi comfortably, I'm going to be able to retire lavishly if I want to, but not only for me, but to help um, take care of my family in retirement as well, or to not my for my family not to have to take care of me. That's a gift in itself that you can give someone, right? And so I said yes, but I didn't say yes to all of those things. I hope you say yes to all of those things to having that extra income so that you don't have to get a side hustle part-time job that takes time away from your family or that you have choices if that full-time job becomes, you know, you just uh, become stressed out. And I love my bosses, actually. I love my job, but I didn't like that I was making them rich and successful. I thought, you know, what if I put the same time and energy into my business like Mary Kay, see where it would go for me. So I said, yes, sign my agreement under the guise and disguise of just telling them that I wanted my products at a discount and service, uh, family and friends maybe, um, and, and gifts. But really inside I was saying, what if? And in closing, this is what I wanna say to you. What if? What if after you sign that agreement that not only you can get your Christmas gifts at a discount, but you can make cash for Christmas to not have to put any Christmas gifts 
on a credit card or to be able to take your family away for Christmas like I'm doing for two weeks. We're spending Christmas in Florida, rented a house for all of us to be together. Or what if, what if you can help alleviate your husband's stress because maybe he's working a, a part a second job or his job isn't cutting it or he's just stressed out. Like my husband was in teaching three times in, in um, our lifetime in Mary Kay, he was able to step back from teaching a couple years uh, so that he could have like a sabbatical and our Mary Kay business has, is the main income. His is the extra. It gives us choices. What if when your parents get to those twilight years, and that was for me when I signed my agreement, what if, what if when I get married and start having kids that I don't have to put them in daycare because I know what happened to me under the care of a family friend that we trusted was, was a clergy person that abused me sexually? What if that when my kids are teenagers, that they could have a mom home with them or a dad. We had choices to have just one income family so that I could be the one doing homework with them. I can be the one and or my husband to put hot meal on the table and we can uh, pray as a family and bow our heads together every single, single day. What if then when my kids are adults that I can be able to help them financially to start off in life, to pay for their college education, to pay for a wedding, to be able to help with a down payment on a home and have the credit built to be able to help with that. And now as I'm waiting to see what God's going to do in my life to, for my boys who are 26 and 24 to uh, eventually find hopefully the women, woman of their dreams, I hope she's like me. <laughs> and Mary Kay is what I mean. I know the life that it could give them and the life that it could give my husband or that it's given my husband and I, but what if, what, what if when you are a grandparent that you can have all that extra income to be able to do the things like take your family on a vacation, all of those things, what if, so here we are at decision time. What if, what's the worst that could happen? What's the worst that could happen? It's not an organ donating decision, you guys. I know you spent $35 this past week on coffee alone, and that was probably only three coffees, <laughs> okay? Or um, three, you know, Chick-fil-A value meals or whatever. Actually, that's probably one these days. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? Taste and see, taste and see. And to close, I want to say to you, want to say to you this, wouldn't you like to make, take, to take a chance so that you could make a choice to have many changes in life, right? You can start your journey for only $35. You must make a choice to take a chance or your life just may never change. For me, it changed my life. It didn't just change my life, it saved my life because of the personal growth and, and also the empowerment that made me realize that, whoa, I needed to cut off that engagement that was unhealthy, that relationship when six months before a marriage and I was almost ready to marry him. To be healthy enough to battle through all of the triggers in life that the enemy in my childhood years, that, that the enemy tried to destroy me. I don't know what your situation is. I don't know what your circumstance is, but I want you to go like this. All of you, I want you to do this right now. And I want you to go receive, receive, receive. I'm open to receive and just accept it and just see what happens. I hope you say yes. And I hope you're coming up to me and saying, hey, remember when you did this event on your 30th anniversary? Now I earned a free car. I'm on my third free car. I became a leader in Mary Kay. Or this is how much I saved in my lifetime just off of my products alone. Wow, with inflation, that alone is a reason to say yes.
All right. Thank you, Janice, for sharing. Oh my this gosh, Laura, you're so amazing. I want to put us on here uh, to gallery. Oh my gosh, you're amazing. I love your story. And yes, and I was a tomboy too. Played all the sports in high school and college. So I know there's women on here who like to do that. And we're going to give away some great e-start tonight. But Laura, I just want to thank you, thank you, thank you for your amazing story. So thank you. I so appreciate you. Um, but it's, I always tell people, if your story, if my story is not their story, Laura's story could be your story, but there is a story in Mary Kay. Trust me, every guest who's on here, there is a story that matches your story out there. Isn't that true, Laura? Yes, 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 yes. yes. Thank you, Laura.